I remember when I was um when I was in college, I I I used to consider myself lazy and a procrastinator, you know. Now looking back at it, I see a lot of people putting labels on themselves or on other people that they know, especially loved ones, because it's like if you don't have the awareness, you also don't have filters. And the words that we use create the emotions that we have, you know, that we actually feel, right? And so, like, I, for example, this morning, my trainer was like, hey, man, how do you feel? I was going to go into what I always say, oh, you know, my shoulder is a little sore, my back is a little this, my that is a little that. Instead, I was like, I feel fucking great. And that, for whatever reason, created this, like, this drive at the gym that I normally don't have because I'm always like... Oh, my shoulder is sore. Okay, so then I'm not going to really go that hard on bench press today. My wrist hurts. Well, when I do curls, I might not go as hard, you know? Mm. And so going back to uh, the labels that we put on ourselves, I remember I would be in school. I would be like, I would open a book and I would sit in front of a, a, a book. And I would have an exam in two days. And I would literally, like a fly would go by a mile away, I would turn around. I would like my mind, I could never get my mind to actually finally focus and get the thing done. And then now looking back at it, it was not that I was lazy or a procrastinator. I was just uninspired. I was not inspired about the topic that I was learning. I was not inspired about going to school because I didn't have a compelling future because I didn't have, um, you know, I guess there wasn't uh, something that I was, that was painful enough for me to like that I was trying to get away from, you know, I was comfortable. I was living with my parents. Everything was okay. You know, I had like, I had, uh, uh, I guess enough. And I think that's also another thing where people, um, where people, uh, um, get sucked into is that like having enough, like I, you know, like doing good is that, that good status. It's like, you know, when you, when we follow, you know, when we listen to, to, to Tony Robbins, it's always like, outstanding it's the kind of standard that you always want to be going after you know yeah. you you get what you tolerate you know mm -hmm. and so whenever we get into those habits of labeling ourselves or seeing ourselves doing something that uninspires us like you said earlier going to a job that you hate well you're probably not going to want to progress in that job and then you go into this like this like down cycle of of feed of negative feedback loop because your job does not inspire you. Therefore, you're not fulfilled. Therefore, you don't want to grow. And this is what drives growth and internal fulfillment, right? Yeah. Is when you're actually growing, when you actually feel like you're truly contributing, when you feel like you're adding value, when you feel like you're growing and again contribute and then you know, and then you just kind of like going back.